What's good, Bit Rushers? It's D5 Brains here for another weekly edition of NFT News. Before we get into the news, though, I'd just kind of like to ask you to give me a thumbs up on the video if you are enjoying all of my content. Sub to my channel and click the bell on to be notified as future videos drop. And make sure you search the comments below for all of my links, including my social media, where you can give me a follow, especially on Twitter at D5 Brains with a Z. I've also recently launched my own Web3 entertainment company called Abraxas, and you can follow us here at Abraxas underscore DAO. We got lots of exciting stuff coming, so if you guys are interested in learning a little bit more about what we got going on, make sure you follow us over here and also join us on Discord, discord.gg forward slash Abraxas. I also hang out and chat all day, so if you guys need any help with any of your own NFT contracts or you just want a little bit of alpha or maybe you want to chat with me about whatever you got on your mind or on your radar, um, go ahead and join up and get in the chat and get active with our community. All right, so the first big news of the week here is that OpenSea confirms it will start listing Solana NFTs in April. It says collections like Solana Monkey Business, Degenerate Apes, and Ori appear headed to OpenSea after the first confirmed recent leaks. Following months of building leaks, leading NFT marketplace OpenSea confirmed that it will indeed support for NFTs minted on the Solana blockchain. OpenSea reveals the news with a short teaser video posted in its official Twitter account, poking fun at the barrage of tweets, pointed its way about plans to add Solana. The video, which OpenSea tweeted about, is the best kept secret in Web3, notes that Solana support is coming in April. No date was mentioned, but the month starts on Friday. Solana is the second largest ecosystem behind Ethereum with an estimated market cap of 1.5 billion across a myriad collections. The Solana NFT space grew rapidly last fall on the back of the rising collections like Solana Monkey Business, Degenerate Ape Academy, and Ori. Solana offers faster, cheaper, and more energy efficient transactions than Ethereum's mainnet. And let's go ahead and just watch this video. Honestly, nothing special, just a bunch of tweets here, guys. But, um, just kind of put some hype for you. And then we have the first leak shows potential Solana integrations into OpenSea appeared in January when well-known hacker and blogger Jane Mansham Wong discovered mentions of Solana and the popular Phantom Wallet in parts of the site. Just this week, she discovered evidence that suggests that Solana launch was near, including a Solana beta logo on the site, as well as support for the Soul Flare wallet. Recently, others on social media noticed that they could connect the Phantom Wallet to OpenSea, even if the NFTs themselves aren't available on the platform. And uh, that's basically it for the news here. They go over some other stuff, different, um, you know, collections and whatnot. I do think this is going to be really great news for not only OpenSea and the NFT space as a whole, but definitely for the Solana marketplace. A lot of people haven't really got into Solana. I did a video a while back, you know, going over the different like marketplaces and things like that that you can buy Solana on, and it didn't really get much traction. It seems like the majority of the people in the space are pretty dedicated to Ethereum and even to OpenSea, as we've seen other competitors come into OpenSea that haven't really taken off as much as you might think they would. So it is good to see that OpenSea is partnering with Solana. Hopefully this will build out the community even more for Solana. Personally, I like the fact that they do have cheaper transactions. Just for me, I have a hard time keeping track of everything on OpenSea. Is there so much going on with Ethereum that I didn't have time to kind of invest into the Solana ecosystem? But now as they come to OpenSea, I'll probably dive deeper into some more Solana projects. And I'm sure a lot more people will as well. And the Solana ecosystem should start to moon. Next up here, we have Samsung partners with Nifty Gateway to launch NFT Smart TV service. Back in January, technology giant Samsung announced it was taking interest in the NFTs by integrating token compatibility to its latest line of smart televisions. Now it's aiming to take that non-fungible desire a step further with an incredible partnership with Nifty Gateway NFT Marketplace. Through this mighty collaboration, Nifty Gateway will combine its extensive knowledge of the NFT realm with Samsung's technological prowess, resulting in the world's first ever um, bespoke NFT platform designed specifically for the smart TV era, therefore bringing tokens away from the computer screen into entirely more comfortable territory. And we have a bunch more about that partnership here if you guys are interested. I think this is pretty good news. Um, 
you know, I don't necessarily think it's necessary that we sit on our couch and buy NFTs on a big screen rather than on our computer or cell phone. Um, but yeah, it's kind of cool either way. Uh, good to see that we're pushing forward, getting more mainstream. A lot of people have Samsung TVs, so this kind of just helps expand the market, I do believe. And probably the younger generation that don't want to mess with the computer or don't have a cell phone or whatever. I know my kids, especially the younger ones, do a lot more on the TV and tablet than they do on the PC. They almost never get on our PC and uh, they don't have cell phones or anything like that. So for them, everything they do is revolved around the smart TV and around a tablet. So I think this is really cool to see, um, you know, Samsung doing that. Hopefully it'll expand the masses maybe to a younger generation. And more great news here from OpenSea. We have OpenSea enables direct card payments via MoonPay for NFT buying. NFT collectors will be able to pay directly with a card or Apple Pay and Google Pay without needing to own any amount of cryptocurrency. Um, even if you don't own crypto, you can now easily purchase NFTs on OpenSea. OpenSea, the leading NFT marketplace, now accept card payments via MoonPay. Sail the OpenSea with your card. Soon you'll be able to buy NFTs with Visa, MasterCard, Apple Pay, Google, and more. Again, this isn't really necessary. Like, we didn't need this to happen here, but it is really great to see that they're doing it as, again, this does expand the market for us. There's lots of people that just don't understand crypto, don't understand Web3 wallets. However, you're still going to need to have a wallet because that is where your NFT is going to be stored. But it does, I feel like, help bridge the gap a little bit to the normies that aren't into crypto, that want to just purchase something. Maybe they see it as an investment opportunity to buy a 100 ETH Board Ape Yacht Club and just kind of sit on it for the next 5, 10 years. And so those type of people maybe just rung up the card, um, don't want to worry about having to buy Ethereum and get it off from an exchange onto their, you know, MetaMask or whatever. So it just makes it easier, ease of use, um, expanding the market. Definitely a good thing in my opinion. Next up, we have Pixels.com, launches a platform for printing NFTs. Um, you can transform your NFTs into canvas shirts, t-shirts, puzzles, and more. Um, Santa Monica, California, Pixels.com, the world's largest marketplace, has launched a new feature which allows NFT owners to print their NFTs as canvas prints, t-shirts, puzzles, hundreds of on-demand printing products. 2021 saw a huge surge in public awareness and popularity of NFTs, collectible items that exist in the digital world. Pixels technology transforms digital into physical, which is a few clicks. Anyone who owns an NFT can purchase physical products made with their NFT artwork. This is one of the most exciting times in history for our business, noted Sean um, Breyer. Sorry if I messed up your name there, CEO of Pixels. We've spent the past 15 plus years building software to help people transform their personal photos into physical products. With the recent rise of NFTs, it was natural fit to expand our printing capabilities to the NFT community. The response from the NFT owners has been incredible. So again, guys, this is pretty cool here. Um, I did take a look at it, and to be honest with you, it's not anything that much different than any like on-demand printing company. You have to upload your photo. It doesn't actually sync with your wallet. It doesn't automatically pull your NFT or anything like that. So I was a little bit kind of disappointed when I went on there, and I saw you still have to just upload it like a normal image. Basically, it's just a print on-demand service, and they're marketing towards NFT holders. However, in the future, maybe they will actually bridge that gap and just like search your wallet, um, connect with like your MetaMask or something like that, and then like through that pull all of them into different prints and different designs and things like that so you know it's a start um but yeah again i don't really think it's that special i put it here on the news because they are marketing it towards nft people and it's definitely a nice easy to use platform to print your nfts if you're looking to do that however there are lots of other um, on-demand print services if you're going to right click and save and then upload it um, so if you guys are out there watching pixels.com make a web3 connect and actually pull the nfts out of my my wallet don't make me have to right click save then i think it would be a little bit bigger news but nonetheless want to put this on your guys radar in case you want to print out any of your nfts as posters or t-shirts or coffee mugs all kinds of great stuff that they do have on the website available and finally here we have dc comics believe the batman nft drop will be a watershed moment i'm not sure even what that means a watershed moment but um, i'm assuming that means like something really big or whatever 
Uh, looks in 2022 is going to be a special year for Batman fans on the heels of the brand's latest film, The Batman. DC has announced the drop of 200,000 unique 3D rendered bat cowl NFTs that will go on sale starting April 26th. So mark your calendars for that, guys. You're not going to want to miss this one. The Bat Cowl is a unique Batman inspired digital art collection featuring multiple bat headpieces that are important to the superhero's 83 year old history. Each NFT in the Bat Cowl collection will cost the buyer $300 and can be purchased from DC's official marketplace, nft.dcuniverse.com. In order to provide its fans with a hassle free NFT experience, DC has partnered with Palm NFT Studio for their project. The studio claims to facilitate NFT sales process with low gas fees and cost of transaction. Um, although the Batcowl tokens are the first official Batman NFTs, they are not the first non-fungible tokens from DC. Last year, the company unveiled the spinning floppy disk NFTs that were given free for all the fans who signed up on the DC fandom event and recently launched during the trading card NFT assassination with Atro. Um, I did mention that one that was on my news last year, if you guys have been following me for that long. So um, hopefully some of you guys got those floppy disks uh, NFTs. And it says, since Batman is such a powerful pop culture phenomenon, the release of the Batcowl NFTs from DC is pretty significant. One can imagine the popularity of the Cape Crusader from the fact to the date the latest Batman movie has earned more than $600 million at the global box office. The arrival of a superhero like Batman into the NFT space is a strong sign of the growing influence and acceptance of NFTs in the mainstream media. Plus, this is likely to increase the interaction of comic book fans and artists with NFTs. Palm Studios Chief Content Officer Matt Mason said the press release, this drop represents a watershed moment for NFTs. And I already watched this. Let me just refresh it for you guys. It is pretty sweet here. Um, goes through the helmets. This is the top of the helmet. It's kind of just scrolling back. And then you can see as we get a little bit closer, it is actually the back of the mask there. And I think they're going to be doing a bunch of different masks. You can see different ones. So not just the most recent mask. You'll also be able to get like some of the older masks from back in the 70s or 80s or even early 90s. So I think that's cool that they're going through all the different genres of the Batman mask. And they do have a whole bunch of different textures and colors that have been hand curated and picked. It says here later in the article if you want to read the whole thing. I also find it interesting that they're releasing with a very high number of 200,000. Most generative collections that come out, you know, try to be like fairly exclusive and, you know, make them like a 10,000 collection NFT. I think even some of the largest collections are only around like 20,000 NFTs. So for them to come out with 200,000, I suspect that they're, you know, going to get out to the masses. A lot of DC fans are going to want to get these. Maybe their first NFT will be this Batman cowl mask. And for that reason, I do think it's really cool. Either way, I love Batman. One of my favorite superheroes. I love DC. DC Universe, um, definitely some of my favorite comics. And so, yeah, really great to just see them getting in the space and launching with one of their top superheroes, Batman. I'm definitely going to try to get one of these, maybe even a couple. I don't know. It doesn't say like a max mint amount, um, but they're fairly cheap here at $300 compared to other NFTs. So if I can, I'll possibly pick up a few of these. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll look forward to doing a follow up on this, like closer to the event near the 26th. But that's basically everything for this week's news. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you are enjoying my content again, please tap on that thumbs up button. Make sure you're subbed to my channel if you aren't already and click on that bell to be notified of future content as it drops. Again, follow me on social media. Everything, including all of the articles from today's news video will be linked below. Especially if you guys want, you can interact with me on my Discord server, discord.gg forward slash Abraxas. Follow me at Abraxas underscore Dow. Follow me personally at D5Brains with the Z. Thank you guys again for watching. Happy crypto. And let's keep getting those NFTs.